Hi, my name's Dale Abracta, the Magical Balloon Dude, and today I'm going to teach you a simple but very effective three balloon fish, and it's an actually a module design. Now, I haven't talked about a module design, but let's talk about it for a second. So we're talking about module design. Now, I came across the module design back around the 90s. Uh, Captain Visual was the first guy that I actually came across who actually started building books about module designs. Now, module designs was uh, new for me due to the fact that prior to that, everything I thought had to be done out of one balloon. And then all of a sudden, the world changed because all of a sudden, people started using two balloons. And part of that, it seemed like he had to tie everything in. But Captain Visual actually came across and he actually started talking about using uh, multiple balloons by doing marriage twists, by connecting balloons together. And, and that's where I first started coming across the design. And it then branched out to other people using the same kind of concept and building figures this way. I, I remember the first time I started seeing these figures here that uh, they were done in parts. Prior to that, everything seemed to come together, but it was you build a part, you build a part, and you put it together. And actually, Ken Stillman was probably the master of it because he actually put together a book that when you looked at it, he would go, here's a face. Oh, by the way, here's seven different faces. And by the way, here's nine different bodies. And you could take those bodies and put them on with nine different faces and have it, you know, infamous amount of characters and it was really it blew my mind because the process was so different it was a different technique because prior to that everything was trying to get one balloon to be one perfect size and when this module concept came out it changed the way the flow went and when i say flow that that is the difference between twisting like a teddy bear and twisting a mermaid, which I hate due to the fact that it seems like I have to make the tail, and then I gotta stop, then I gotta do the body, and then I have to do the chest, and then I have to do the head, then I have to do the hair. It's stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. It's, it's a module design. In, in, a, in a concept, the fish that I'm showing you today is a full module concept in my mind because I'm building three separate pieces and then connecting them to one. So when you hear module design, if you ever hear anybody talk about it, It'd go back to Captain Visual, go back to uh, Ken Stillman, building separate parts, putting them together. And it, it, I have to say, it really changed my mind on doing that. So let's go back to the fish. All right, so let's start the fish. It's three balloons. I'm going to use three colorful balloons. I'm going to start out with an orange balloon, a yellow balloon, and a green balloon. Yes, I know they add colors, but you put them together, they look really nice. But here's the key thing. Fish are multiple colors. Now, you could do your fish all one color. You could break it down into two colors. Or in this example, I'm showing you three colors because it's easier for you to understand what parts go where. So, let's start off. What I'm going to do is just inflate the balloon. And I'm only fl inflating it. Not even quarter away. Now, this is going to be a simple process. And what we're going to wind up doing is starting off with a pinch twist. We're actually going to start with the mouth. So we start with a pinch twist. That's a one bubble pinch twist. We're going to go about approximately three fingers. One inch bubble, pinch twist. Now, what I've learned in doing this, I want to make the second bubble, which is the bottom part of the mouth, slightly larger than this one. So if I fold it over, I just want to move it up just a little so I get a smile face to that balloon. Simple and easy right there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to inflate the second balloon. The second balloon is going to be the body. Now, we're doing modules. This is going to be a three-step, three-part balloon. So if I look at this, we're going to inflate the second balloon here real quick. And this balloon is going to be inflated just about three quarters of the way. We're going to leave maybe two to three fingertips at the end. Again, it depends on how big you want to make your fish. Now I'm going to take this balloon. I'm going to just set it off to the side here. Hopefully it's not going to fall on the floor. Sit, stay. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is this is going to be the, the first bubble. Now there's a couple different ways I do this and I had to stop and think. But I'm going to start with the simplest which is a bubble turned into a pinch twist. 
We're gonna follow that by a second bubble turned into a pinch twist. This is gonna be a section where we lock the body into this frame. Now, for this to work, what I need to do is I'm gonna take about a hand, maybe two hands. This is gonna be the length of the body. So I'm gonna do it once, fold it down, make a bubble, and lock that back in. So I twist that. You'll notice that I now have two bubbles up, down. There's multiple ways of doing this. You could have start up, went down, did bubbles. But the key is you're gonna to want to have two pinch twists followed by two long bubbles. Now we're gonna repeat the process, measure. So we're down, gonna fold back, and twist in. So we're gonna have what could look like a tie, what could look like two feet. But what this is going to happen is we're gonna fold this up, we're gonna do a roll through, we're gonna roll one balloon, as you can tell, I am pushing it through. It's gonna crisscross it on top. I link it again, spin it through, adjust the bottom. As you can tell, here's the body. It's all crisscross right there, nice and easy. Now we're gonna go back and I'm gonna make the tail part, which I'm just gonna take a simple bubble. This is the length, you can figure hand, hand and a half. This is going to be the tail. I'm going to bend it. I want to have a two-part tail. So what I'm going to do is fold it, take this section, spin it around, and flip it through. So here's the body of the fish. Here's the fin. You can do the fin up. You can do the fin down. You want to make sure that you have the body this way, the tail that way, so you can see it. Now, this is where the module comes in. Unlike the normal balloon twisting, like if you did a teddy bear or one balloon object, you started from area, one area and you kept using that balloon. This is something different because we're using modules, and modules, like I say, are simple and easy because you can actually add multiple balloons. Now, what I'm going to do is slide this balloon through. I'm going to take enough, and this is going to be the hard part to show you here. I'm going to slide it through. I want to get enough balloon to go from this point to that point. So if I pull it in tight, I pinch twist because I'm going to bring this balloon over under this pinch twist. So what I've done is I've taken the mouth, as you can see here, I've I have the mouth. I slide it across through and I connect it to the other pinch twist. Take, break, remove, however you like to remove, scissors, teeth, whatever, tie it off, spin it around. Here we go. Turn that around and we have our fish. Now what we're going to do is the actual fins and to do the fins I'm gonna blow up a balloon again this is gonna be about three quarters of the way so now again modular design stick it underneath the arm what we're going to do is the actual fins what I like to do is again I do this instinctively so I really have to stop and think about it it's one two two and a half hands I fold it over what I want to do is wrap now there's a couple different ways you could do this if you're a beginner this may be the easiest way to get your proportions right if you're advanced and you automatically know how to get your proportions you could do a, a bubble like this turn around bam and you could get your perfect size but if you're a beginner you're like Dale hang on why is one fin really small one fin kind of like doing petals on a flower. Measure them up. So you take your first bubble, you do your pinch, you fold it over, find the bottom half, pinch them together. Now you have your top, your bottom, you bring it together, voila. Again, kind of like what we did earlier where we wrapped those through, not doing this. But this is going to be the fins. Now the fins, we look at this, we have the mouth, we have the small bottom, big top. 
We're gonna come from the top. We're going to go in, pull it out one side, take the other side, and fish it through. So what you're basically going to have here is the mouth with two fins coming out. Now, this top balloon that comes off the top is gonna to be the top fin, so we're gonna angle that so it comes up. Now, we're gonna go up about a hand. We're going to then make a small bubble. Turn it into a pinch twist. So we have our bubble, our pinch twist. We're gonna do bubble, bubble. These are all one inch, one finger bubbles. And then we are going to do the last one. So there's technically one, two, three, four, five bubbles. The first bubble was turned into a pinch twist, followed by three bubbles. The last bubble is going to be a pinch twist. Now, because a fin and a fish actually angles back, they don't, they're not straight across, so they come down. So what we're gonna do is take about a two finger to give an angled fin and this is where this lock comes in now, this spot right here, this joint. If you flip it around, I'm gonna take this part where my fingers is, spin it right into there, wrap it around. Remove excess. I don't know why I just threw garbage on my floor. Here we go, tie it off. You now see we have this cool fish here. It's got its mouth, it's got its fins on the side, it's got that top fin, comes back. And the nice part about this is we could add eyes to it. And I'm gonna use a simple technique here. You could use a scrap, I'm just gonna use a brand new white, I'm gonna mouth inflate. Just get a small little puff, and I'm gonna show you how I do this. I wanna get my uh, Sharpie marker, good old black Sharpie marker. Remind me, I'm putting that in my pocket so in a couple minutes when I get lost and I can't remember where it's at. All right, I'm gonna take the white balloon. What I'm gonna do is make a bubble. And this is how I do it. I actually don't even make a bubble. What I do is I take this nozzle and wrap it into that cheek area. I then take and make another bubble. Why do I do this? I could just make a bubble and twist it and wrap it in. I find this is efficient. This is, again, unlike the module design where we're building pieces, this is actually going back to the fluid smooth, going from one direction to the other. This is not, I don't call this module design. What I just did here and built was module. What I'm doing now, I don't consider module twisting because what I'm doing is tying in a balloon and then what I'm going to do is tie this balloon in and bring it down. So it actually creates what's like a pinch twist. Then I'm gonna stretch the balloon. I'm not breaking the balloon. I'm stretching the balloon, dragging it, forcing all the air out of it, coming back up, making another bubble, squeezing air out. Oh no, I'm losing it. I've just lost part of the cheek, folks. I wrap it around. Break off. Tie off. And you're going to see a difference here. I'm going to show you where my orange balloon started to lose it. You can see right here. My orange balloon just started to deflate on me. This is the size it should be. It's that gill side. So notice I have eyes. I have my fins. Now, whoop, black marker in my pocket. This is actually... I, I asked a client for a Sharpie and they gave me a CD Sharpie, which is actually purple. It's, it writes really smooth. I really like it, but it's purple. It's not really black. You may see it on the camera here. It's for writing on CDs. Compact disc for those uh, younger kids who don't know or Blu-ray. Here you go, you put the fish on, you put the eyes on. Nice part is, if you want to put a fishing pole in, maybe there'll be another video, I'll show you how to put a fishing pole in. But here is a three balloon fish, quick, efficient. I hope you hit the subscribe. My name is Magical Balloon Dude Dale. Till I see you next time, enjoy, have fun, and hey, let's go fishing.
Make sure you click on that subscribe button and never miss a video. Subscribe now. Click the little bell and always be notified of a live broadcast. Follow me on Instagram. And if you're a TikTok fan, you'll find me under the same name, Dale LaBrocta. Looking forward to seeing you on social media.